It is not John O'Groats yet. It's coming up in two miles from here. There is nothing here. Almost nothing. But do I like it? Now, to be honest, I do. The weather is quite nice. Blue sky. Ah, come on. Blue sky. And it's not cold. Well, then this should be John O'Groats. Amazing that people are living here. Yeah, John O'Groats. No, then I now need to have that picture, of course. That is just an obligation. John O'Groats guest house. It doesn't look very cozy. I don't know even if it is open. Well, there is no need for me to join there, so... Okay, hi. Further, further on there is a ferry. I knew that you can sail further upwards to the islands over there. Not going to do that. I'm a little bit further to uh, the west now. And uh, the first part. Well, what is the first part? Uh, yeah, 30 miles or something. 50 kilometers was not very interesting and as you also can see that it is quite sunny right now it's uh, 20 degrees so the weather is uh, quite good and I'm very 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 happy with that because if you are here in the pouring rain and in the cold and in the fog and whatever then uh, you feel yourself kind of miserable but now this is uh, perfect I am driving the NC500 counterclockwise. The beauty of that is that the landscapes in the east around John O'Groats are changing slowly from dull and flat and quite boring into more and more hilly and colorful and more interesting and beautiful because of the waters and lakes and the sea showing up. To summarize it, you are slowly driving into the astonishing highlands. If you do it the other way around, the views are slowly getting more boring. I have made the right choice, luckily. All those yellow, it's not brem. I don't know how to call it in English. Uh, the lady replied me on Facebook that uh, the name of this stuff, and I already forgot it. But when you pass it through, you can smell it. It's fantastic. Very, very nice. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful.
I noticed a sign alongside the road pointing towards a cave. It is lying close by the road. There is a parking lot and from there you only have to do a short walk to a couple of stairs downwards to reach the beach and the cave. The cave is beautiful. If you pay some pounds you can enter the cave with a guide who gives you some explanation. I did not do that. I didn't want to wait until the next guided tour was starting. Need to have again a picture. Oh. And a quick one, otherwise, those guys with those campers coming up from Luxembourg. And they don't have a clue what to do. Don't look, look, they don't look into the mirrors. Okay, fine for now. I can look at the view while riding. Right. And those Luxembourg guys with those campers, you know, it took me a, a while before I was able to pass them and I did that a little bit tricky on the edge of the road. Absolutely st stunning landscape. Beautiful spot. Scoory campsite. At the water. Really an amazing, amazing spot. Yeah, now I'm now. I think that's better because I'm filming now completely against the sun, which is uh, going uh, to give difficulties of course, but uh, the picture is stunning. My tent is over here bike is there. It cost me uh, a thing to put the bike, to put uh, the tent there. Because originally I had pitched the tent at the other side of the building here, on a location that is meant for campers. So I did put down the tent and it was almost finished. I want to throw my luggage in the camp, in the tent, and then the lady, the manager, comes up, a little bit angry. Sorry, me, sir. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But uh, the spot you have chosen is meant for campers and not for little tents, so you need to put it down. Okay. I put it down, but I was a little bit, little bit pissed because uh, putting a tent down and setting it up again every day already. So this is was just coming kind of extra, which I did not expect up front. Originally, I'd, I had pitched down the tent here, there. On that, that grass field, and it was not standing in the way whatsoever, because uh, campers could easily ride in front of me back and forth, so there was no issue. No, no, no. You need to take down the tent and move it away. Okay.
can we do that? And indeed, I have done that because I'm a nice guy, right? Yeah, I cannot film in and against the sun, I think, but look here how amazing this is. Oh, and now also I see the midges here. Not that many, but now I see midges, which is the, the Scotland is famous of in the summer. In the summer, midges, lots of them. Boiling water for my coffee. Blue sky, nice temperature. If it stays this way, then I have again a nice ride. Still need to put down my tent, pack everything, but I have plenty of time. Okay, this was Scuri. Perfect. It, the weather is stunning. And it is already bloody hot. And I did not see that coming. Oh, oh, no, I'm turning the wrong way. Okay, then I make a round trip. No problem. Then I also can show you the location. Look at this. How stunning this is. Open sea there, it's a bay. It cannot be even better than this. Absolutely stunning. Okay. Let's put some petrol in. Cart is being refused. Why? That's absolutely the first time. Need to put the hose back, it says. Refused. Yeah, now that's a difficulty. And I know for sure that the cart worked everywhere, but not here. No. It has a range of 90 miles, so it's plenty enough, but... Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at it. According to Garmin, there should be a petrol station in Loch Inver, which I'm heading towards now. And uh, the Garmin indicates it as a uh, spar shop, probably with a petrol station next to it. So that is quite convenient because this is also my planned route. It's a uh, back and forth route this uh, this part of uh, part of the route 
So when I'm uh, finishing up at the end at the login where I need to turn around and go back. But that's not bad at all. Now I hope of course that that petrol station over there do accept my, my uh, card. What the view, beautiful. I'm now driving in the direction of Log Inver. I saw another sign saying Drumback, which I already have passed. And I'm absolutely hope, hoping that uh, that is really the case, that there is a spar shop by the petrol station or a fuel pump or whatever. And uh, that it does accept my card, so then I can fuel up. If that's not the case, then I have a problem. Because uh, then I have left uh, fuel for another 50 miles and that is uh, too little to get back to the living world. Sort to say. Still. The weather is beautiful. And uh, the area is also even more beautiful. So all these things I would call an advantage. I've seen something similar in Norway. It looks more or less the same as this here, but it takes your breath away, it's uh, fantastic. So busy, now it gets excited. I do have fuel, the pump worked, and the pump accepted my card, so it is not the card, it was the other pump which has difficulties for some reason. The only thing now is that this pump uh, pays out only uh, fuel in uh, amounts of 20 uh, British pounds, which is uh, fine for now. Spar. That's a spar. Clear. Yes. So let's have a look inside. Some sandwiches and something to drink. Let's do a, a lunch. I have uh, some kind of uh, apple crunchies or whatever they've called them. I looked for sandwiches, ready-made sandwiches, but they don't have it in that spar shop. So then I thought, well, then I do some apple crunchies. And I have also a small bottle of milk. And that's fantastic. I fueled up the bike. That worked out, except my uh, pin card. And uh, in the shop I want to uh, pay again with my pin card. But uh, that machine also uh, refused it and won't accept the card. So the guy said, yeah, Maestro is sometimes giving difficulty. Maestro, Maestro, why should it give difficulty? Okay, whatever. But then the guy behind me, said no worry no worry i pay for you don't worry very 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 nice so i thanked him out of the bottom of from my heart that's done i also said to the guy well i do have uh, cash money with me uh, no 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 not needed okay 
guys, thank you. And now I'm going to do uh, my apple crunchies. And my bottle of milk. Here they are. Oh, apple rounds. Apple, sorry, apple rounds. And a bottle of milk. That's actually I really love. I love milk. My permit only. I don't want to go fishing. I don't do want to eat my apple rounds. Okay. And there I'm sitting down on a lovely, completely lovely place. Look at it. Ain't it beautiful? Amazing view! And then, all of a sudden, I discovered the bolt that attaches the clutch fluid cylinder to the steer has gone. It flops up and down. So there is a tire wrapping job, job coming up. I'm going to do that when I'm at the campsite in the evening. Oh, I passed it already. Okay. First, let's look how the camping is facilitated. Next left. No vacancies for the night. Also not for a little tent. In my opinion there is plenty of room, so I'm going to check that out first. No vacancies. Please ring the bell, but do not do that if there are no vacancies so everything is booked probably no place well i see plenty of place but for a small tent as i have now i saw a campsite nine miles back the torridon campsite a little bit hidden in the, in the woods or sort of so I'm going now to navigate back to uh, that campsite and then uh, see uh, what's happening there. Yes, I do have a place that the campsite uh, was quite large as far as I can see that quickly. Also a little bit uh, thing else. The fluid reservoir of my uh, clutch 
is wobbling a little bit, so I'd first like to check out what's happening there. Whoa, the screw is going out. Okay. Okay. What's wise now? I do have a tire app, so that should be fixed it, but the campsite is coming up also. So I think I think it's better to uh, I think it will stay there. The hose underneath is uh, keeping it up, keeping it in place. So I think it's wise now to uh, first try to find that uh, Torridon uh, campsite. Hopefully they have a place for me. Then I can pitch down the tent and then with a the tire rip I can uh, tighten up the uh, fluid uh, reservoir. So, here. Torridon use hostel half a mile. Reception? The reception? Over there? De camping, ja? Zo, dit way. Thank you. Toilet don't campsite. Oké, okay, toilets. Toilets. <laughs> Waar is er eens? Waar is die entrance? Oh. Hostel in Scotland, resident parking only. I don't have a clue. Tour in the hall. Where's the campsite? I don't have a clue. No parking fire station. Do it on campsite. No parking. I th think I'm simply going to put down my tent. If there is nobody else, then I'm going to do that. Welcome. Okay, that's nice. I felt welcome. No parking. How did I get here? Campsite. No fires. How do I get there? Okay, that's it. I found my place already here. Place site is unmanned. Can't pitch my tent down. The only thing I need to have is water. An unmanned site. There is no reception. Check for uh, I can put a bike down there, but it need 
the ground need to hold it, otherwise it is falling over. The only thing I need to take care of is uh, water. Now let's check out. It turned out the toilet house I had seen on my way in is meant to be used by the campsite guests. It contained a sink, three toilets and a shower. All very basic and simple, but it worked, it had warm water and it, I could fill up my water bag. All good, no complaints. <laughs>